Hey everyone, this is your girl Soli Sims and we're continuing the tutorial series that I have started and these come out every single Saturday so if you haven't checked it out, you totally should. They're very simple tutorials from landscaping to roofing to, um, well we haven't done any roofing yet but we will, <laughs> um, to the gazebos and just how to clutter etc. These are all little um, ideas that I have going on that I want to try to implement and I will be sh um, sharing those videos videos with you um, this one this particular gazebo that we're going to do today is part of a set of three that I started and I was able to showcase the first two but I wasn't able to do this one because of time constraints um, however this one is in particular is going to be like an ultra modern um, type gazebo and I went with a skylight I was trying to remember the name and I just kept saying sky roof for some reason. I don't know why, but um, obviously this isn't going to have any um, glass coming through. It's definitely just an open space directly to the top, through the top of the roof. And I'm trying to make this one look a little bit clunky, like um, the columns, like it's like a really big piece of um, concrete that everything is fitted into. Um, uh, once again, I'm using the very the smallest size in the um half walls to create the look i want on the top and um i'm going to use one square in width um or length I, i'm not sure how you guys are going to look at this um it's one one square in width i would say um for the big wall that I'm going to do. Now I'm not going to do the wall completely through because I want there to be this little area where you can see through um, the side of the wall, the top of the wall, almost like a big open window. So um, I didn't like how it looked with the um, walls at normal. So I raised the walls up to a the second level just to make it easier so I can use the taller um, walls and you will see that the taller walls and you can see that's in a little while you'll see how it looks in the end um again because i'm doing ultra modern i went with this little fireplace and i didn't put it so that it is directly um on the ground i put it so that it it's looked like it's floating a bit and i really loved that um about it and there you can see it looks so much better i mean guys if you even wanted you could have put you could have put it flat on the ground and also put a television over the top of it to make it um, a big like entertainment type area but of course this one is simply purely for socializing um, and I wanted to put just this little section here I was trying to decide which plant I think would look best because I wanted to use both of them one because um, the one in the black pot looks a bit um, modern to me as well it's just a little bit different than your traditional plants and then um, the other one from the jungle adventure pack it um, it's a little bit unique as well with that one stock of bright boost of color in there so i wanted to incorporate it co incorporate it sorry into the building some way and i will later on for now i just used the um another half wall and just a regular size shelf to create this closed off um type of look where i can raise and place the um flower on not the flower the pot on so that it looks like it is um sitting on a shelf on its own and i just really like how it looked i'm always having trouble guys um raising it enough for it to float to the top hair and again if this is the first time that you're watching this video we use nine to raise zero to bring down and the bracket keys are used for um, enlarging and minimizing objects um, I did go with a like a concrete type look um, for the whole build. Um, I wanted it like I like I said. I know I don't know how many of you guys are aware of it, but there's this big thing that's kind of in right now where people try to do their whole house just poured out of concrete. And I saw that series. I think I started seeing it on YouTube, but and um a while back like a couple of weeks ago i started watching it and then i was like mm, you know what i'm just going to um try this 
type of look in the build now guys i noticed that the shelf is sticking out in the back eventually i do fix it up especially at the end i think rather more towards the end when i was trying to um take the screenshots i sorted that out <laughs> and um yeah so that got sorted out so um i was trying to get now i was thinking of putting like weaker furniture in there but in my last video i did use weaker furniture and i figured that um i don't want to try to use it again in this particular build so i went with something a little bit different i did play around with it a little bit trying to get something that i thought that would match well but then it kind of brought in an island vibe because of the way that the furniture is that i did i wasn't going for because remember it's supposed to be like ultra um ultra modern now um an oversight on my part and i apologize for this i did put it in the end is that i forgot to put in the tiles on the floor in the end i did realize that and i put in um a marbled type i think it came with um i think it came with that luxury pack or is it the the, the... guys forgive me i can never remember the names of the packs the one with um where you become get famous that was so obvious right the get famous pack i think it came with it. it's like a marble floor but anyway you'll see it in the screenshots i decided to go with this type of um chair instead and um you of course you can mix and match the colors the way you want it um i of course enjoy uh, muted tones so i went with a muted tone i will change the color after a while i wanted the um side table just to look a little bit different but i also wanted it to be closer in height with the long chair and i just think it just adds a little bit of symmetry um, it just makes it look better overall as far as i am concerned in terms of um, minimizing the sizes to fit certain things and that is where i included this particular type of plant um, again these are all all the gazebos that i've done are all kind of just a little guideline as to where you can go and um in with your your build and the styles that you can use with it you can mix and match however you want you can switch it up if these um this particular style isn't what you want you can still use that same type of structure and change it around completely make it more colorful change it and make it bohemian it, it can change and just it has, has so many different options that you can use just using the basic um lines even the um with the the fencing that i use on the side there the, the you can change that up and make it look completely different um give it a different style um this is from the moschino pack i hope i'm saying it right the moschino pack and i love this little center table and i wanted to show you guys two different variations with what you can possibly put um with this definitely i wanted to put in a um a plant on one of them and I did but then right here and then you could have just had like those three candles um, on the side and then I thought to show you guys you could also use an, an alternating round candle like just these two as well I thought that was really really pretty but I decided to go back with my original idea simply because I was following the squares um, that I have set and if you will notice um, you could put in that plant <laughs> I'm cutting over myself you could put in that plant but then I did change it and I put in something else instead because I like this one more it matches the lines again of um, the railing etc and then I put a pop of color in there to match the cushion on the chair and the squares I was saying in terms of the shaping of the um, chairs and etc along with everything else basically so we're approaching the screenshots you will see there that i did add that type of um flooring i hope you enjoyed the video guys and i'll see you again in the next one goodbye